everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing how to create crochet sleeves for a basic denim jacket, giving it a fun and colorful flair. I thrifted this basic American Eagle denim jacket a little while ago for $4 and wanted to give it a bit of a facelift. I love this sweater that I saw from Farm Rio and it inspired the design behind the sleeve for this project. These are the materials that you will need for this project. I am using a 7mm hook for the sleeves and a 5.5mm hook for the cuff. And here are the techniques that we will use for this project. If you are completely new to crochet, feel free to head to the tutorial in the card above to learn all of the beginning techniques or if you simply need a refresher. The yarn that I am using is by Living Fibers and it is this beautiful bulky size 5 yarn or 7 WPI. I love it because it's warm and 100% wool but isn't itchy and you can also find this link below. First I grabbed the freshly cleaned denim jacket and I cut off both of the sleeves with my fabric scissors. Also feel free to save your sleeves for other projects as I do share quite a few fabric scrap projects on this channel. You can also feel free to check those out in the description box below, such as how to make yarn with your fabric scraps and other DIYs. I just like to turn the jacket inside out and I'll begin to work the blanket stitch, which will be useful for crocheting onto the fabric. To begin, I just take a sharp tapestry needle and thread some nice strong cotton through it. And now I'll just take a tailor's chalk to measure and mark each half inch or 1.27 centimeters so I can evenly work the stitches. Now that I've marked along the inside of the jacket, it's time to begin the stitches. To do so, I will first take the needle through at the marker on the bottom of the armpit of the jacket and bring it through horizontally from right to left. Pull it all the way through, leaving a little tail at the end. And then go ahead and tie a double knot at the end so that it catches that tail. Now bring the needle through that seam line vertically at that second marker from bottom to top and keep the other end of the string behind that needle as you pull it through the fabric Now we will continue with that needle, bring it up vertically where this first mark is to the left and make sure you keep that tail of the string behind the needle as we bring it through vertically like so. Pull that thread all the way through and as you do we will create the first blanket stitch. Now take the needle to the marker to its left and just as we did before, bring that needle up vertically through that seam, keeping the tail behind the needle, pull it all the way through, working to make that second stitch. And we will continue to work all of the stitches like this, working from right to left. As you do this, make sure to check that you are bringing that needle through the inner seam of the jacket because this will make it so that you don't see the stitches on the outside of the jacket, giving that design a clean finish. Once we get to the end of the row, we will work the last blanket stitch. And tie the two ends together with two overhand knots. Now 
Then simply sew in those ends and that inner jacket seam a few times and trim it off. Also make sure to count how many stitches you did in that first armhole to make sure that you do the same exact amount on the other side so that they are the same size. To begin the sleeve, we will create a row of single crochet, working one single crochet into each blanket stitch. So go ahead and make a slip knot. Insert that hook inside that first blanket stitch in the armpit, then chain one. Now work a row of single crochet around And to end the row, simply use a slip stitch. And for each row, we will end it in the same way. For the second row, chain one and work a half double crochet two together. So yarn over and insert your hook into that next stitch. Then yarn over and pull through now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and then insert it into the next stitch, then yarn over and pull through. Now we have five loops on the hook. Now yarn over and pull through all five. Then for the rest of this row, we will simply work regular half double crochets around until the last two stitches. Now at the last two stitches, work another half double crochet two together and then slip stitch to end the row. And that half double crochet two together, just simply make sure that our work doesn't bunch underneath the arm, giving it a nice clean finish. We will work treble crochet rows around. To do so, chain three, which will count as the first treble crochet. Then yarn over twice and insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and now we have four loops on our hook. Now, just simply yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 
and yarn over, pull through those last two loops. Continue this around for six more rows and slip stitch to end each round. And we will change colors for this pattern as well. So I'll join you then to show you how to do that. So if you're working this pattern along with me, feel free to pause the video here and come back when you're ready to join for the next color. And if you're simply working the same color for the whole sleeve, you can just continue with those treble crochet rows until the sleeve reaches your forearm and then come back to work the two decreasing rows with me before creating the cuff. I've put time markers on this video to make sure that it's easier for you to navigate as you like. And if you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like button below as I'd really appreciate it. To change colors, I like to make a slip knot with the new color and insert it into the stitch at the beginning of the row. Now, just continue working the pattern as you would. And I like to sew in the threads as I go along so that I don't have to do it all in the end. Simply trim the end of the old color and then tie it twice to the tail of the new color. and weave in the ends as you like. Now continue with the pattern working treble crochet rows and for the last two rows with this color, I will work a couple of decreasing rows. So feel free to pause the video here and join up with me at that point. For the first decreasing row, we will chain one and work a half double crochet two together. Then work five half double crochets. And we will continue that pattern all the way around for this row, working a half double crochet two together and five half double crochets around. And then in this row with a half double crochet. In my project, this is row 17. For row 18, I chained one, worked a half double crochet two together, and then worked half double crochets around. Mm -hmm. 
To end the row, I worked another half double crochet two together in the last stitch. And these two decreasing rows are there to just make sure that there's less stitches for the sleeve to join to the cuff without too much ballooning. To make the cuff, I'm using a smaller hook here at 5.5 millimeters and simply chain how long you'd like the cuff to be. I like about 18 chains. And remember here that your last chain will be your turning chain. After you worked as many chains as you like, turn your work, skip the first chain, and work single crochets across the row into the back chains only. This will give that cuff that knitted ribbing look that we're going for and a bit of stretch as well. Now I have 17 single crochets, so I'll chain one, turn my work, and work back the other way, working only into that back stitch. Continue this for as many rows as you like until it fits comfortably around your wrist. And remember that there will be a bit of stretch with this too, so make sure that it fits comfortably around your hand as well. I worked about 20 rows in total. Then I like to weave in all of the ends first before joining the edges of the sleeve. So I'll do that really quick. To join the edges, I simply fold the right sides together, so I fold the most pretty sides together. Then connect them with a row of slip stitches. To do so, insert your hook into those first two stitches on both sides. Pull that slip knot through. And chain one. Now continue to the next stitch and work slip stitches across the row and make sure to match up the cuff exactly as you do this so that that connection is nice and flawless and make sure to pull it through both of those stitches.
trim and remember that this cuff is still wrong side facing out. Now we have our jacket sleeve and you can see where it hits me on my arm, right on my forearm. And I like to now turn this jacket inside out and work a row of single crochet flat seam on the inside connecting the sleeve to the cuff. To do this, turn the jacket inside out and we will connect them both together with a row of single crochets. To work out how many single crochets that you need to do, I like to do a little bit of math just to make sure that it's nice and exact. First count how many spaces are on that end of the cuff and how many stitches are on the sleeve. If there are the same number, you can just simply work one single crochet in each around, easy peasy. But if they're not exact, for example, I have 34 spaces on the edge of my cuff and 27 stitches on my sleeve. You can simply subtract the smaller number from the bigger number, and then I'll tell you how many extra single crochets you need to work around in order to make sure that they match up evenly. So for example, 34 minus 27 is seven. So I'll work seven extra single crochets around to join this sleeve to the cuff. And I'll work those extra single crochets into the four corners of the sleeve. So now use some markers to mark the four edges of your sleeve. So 27 divided by four is 6.75. So I marked every seventh stitch three times, but on the fourth time I marked the sixth stitch. And these are the four stitches that I'll be working those extra single crochets into. And work single crochets in each stitch around. And then work those extra stitches on the four corners of your sleeve. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to work three stitches in each of the four corners except for one. I'll be only working two single crochets into this first stitch on the corner. I will also have a worksheet on how to figure all of this out in your project on my project pattern which is now on the website and a full explanation for how to do this if you'd like more details. When I got to this last stitch, I worked three single crochets. And once it was complete, this is how it looked. I really loved creating this pattern and making this jacket and let me know what you think in the comments below. I really enjoyed sharing this project with you and if you make this and post it online, feel free to tag me at Cactus Lady Creation and I'll share it with our blooming online community. I can't believe that at this time of this video, we've just hit 1k subscribers on this channel and I'm so excited to see this community continuing to grow. So hit the subscribe button to join us if you like this video or if you like fiber art tutorials and conscious crafting and the occasional art vlog from me. Thank you for watching and see you next time.